Welcome to Yildiz Readings 5D, a place in which we cover astrology, psychic updates, as well as the Twin Flame Path. I do come to you live on Fridays, and if you do click the bell, you get the updates by Zodiac Sign and more. And very importantly, we do have new hubs opening early in 2022 and beyond. Galaxy Pub for information content, as well as the Age of Aquarius magazine. So without further ado, let's get into the update for your Zodiac Sign, and if you need to see me live as I mentioned live on Fridays. Hi Cancer welcome back we're here to do your mid-month reading to get you prepared moving into next month because we have a lot of action-packed astrology as well as I am reading from the oracle cards I really don't need cards I am psychic so for those of you that are new a very warm welcome but we do have this um, new deck which I'm using at the moment for the channeled messages and here and there I will be doing um, coffee cup readings pick a card readings and things to that degree and stay tuned for the twin flame updates okay so we're reading from the divination of the ancients if you did want to buy the deck and the funny thing was you know really because we are moving between here and next month we're move, we're in eclipse season we're having the nodes change we're going through this rebirth especially through scorpio season so you know a lot of people can be maybe feeling that they have more energy going off food really looking at restructuring their lives and i've talked to so many cancerians over the last few weeks and it, what I've been seeing both intuitively, psychically and astrologically is there can be some things really playing out at the moment. And it's funny because generally, um, you know, the closer you get to a transit, you pick it up, but it is actually playing out now. And that's all to do with Venus moving retrograde. So for some of you, be it it's happening in your love life, be it it's happening in your career or with your kids, um, your values, you know, trying to find a way maybe even to earn more money. There's large subjects in your life and a restructure coming up. Now, I did really say, if you can, it's it's more, you know, through that process, if you intuitively know prior to the transit, great, but how you feel about that value, how you feel about that situation may look very different towards the opposite side of the transit. So it's a little bit like going to a restaurant, um, okay, rather booking a restaurant, saying you're going to want a particular item booking and locking that in and then getting there and you don't feel like that item but you've locked it in so your, your flavor is going to change how you feel to do with that is going to change so it's about you being very rational now the crowning energy you have and when you read this you know we get spooked by it because it's ouija board but it, it's more to do with the warning it's more to do with your thoughts are you trying to be very careful so I'm going to read from the book and we're going to channel the cards. I've got them and I've got your past, your future, and we'll get into it. Okay, so be alert for the signs are all around you. You are not heeding your internal alarm. So you're not listening. Okay, listen. And it, some of you may be, some of you may have, and I hear the term dodged a situation. It's like, oh, you know, I really thought that. And I saw that coming through with both myself and my partner. We both have cancer in our chart. Um, and are you in the process of making a huge mistake? You may be flying high at the moment, but could fall quickly and suffer a very nasty bump as you land. Already you have been swept away but never fear, it is not too late to get back on track. Ask yourself with resonance, with the truth and integrity, take action accordingly. Soar freely and above the commitments you have made. Ah, liberate your mind and heart and allow your soul to take off. All that glistens is not gold. And I, it's funny because in Scorpio season, we're looking at the values and side of things. And sometimes Scorpio can be really good for us. Um, you know, if you've got a Scorpio placement in your chart, you're more inclined to be able to look at the grit. You're more inclined to look at the devil in the detail, you know, very similar to Capricorn, really, um, which is the devil card in Tarot. 
So you're, you're going to be looking at it, but you're going to be looking at, you know, what's below the surface, reading the fine print, really looking at what you're trying to create, be it it's in your love life, how you directly feel emotionally and spiritually, um, how you are feeling relating to your career sector and any other subject that, that really is coming up. And it can be self-worth as well. But I believe what I'd been told, this omen um, binds me to, bids me to retreat as protect, protection, not defeat. Do not ignore your intuition, messages and signs. Think before doing anything that will take you away from your true paths. Someone is not being honest. And I think really this is more to do with ourselves. So I'll give you an example of how this played out. This is about intuition, clarity and honesty. Um, and whatever you're trying to achieve at the moment, what I'm feeling is many times the universe gives us three opportunities. So it can be a near miss and we get this logic. Okay. So we've got this logic and we're like, okay, something needs to give. This could be a love life. This could be relating to your career. And then you have, you have the download. You're like, that's where you're at. Okay. That's the honesty and the earnesty of it. Something's got to give. Then you have the secondary, which you have an example point to show you two polarities. It could be the yin to the yang of the circumstance of what the good part of that could be or what the bad part of it could be. The third is if we know and we don't take direct steps, what the dire outcome could be is we're shoved. And, and usually it is for our higher good. Um, so what I'm sensing is you're trying to make the correct decision. You know something's off. You know something needs to be dealt with. Um, but you you know, you could be pausing, you're putting the brakes on the other energy I'm getting is that, you know, due to things that happened to you in the past, you don't want to take a gamble. You don't want to make brash risks, but it's funny because, you know, Mars is in Scorpio. So it's almost like we're daring to dream. We're looking at, you know, what's below the surface and why we're having that subconscious belief, especially because Chiron and Aries is retrograde. So we're, we're feeling as though it's testing times. And yes, psychologically it can be, um, as well as physically. We're looking at what's happening. We're so very near to the end of the year. We're wanting to make, we're wanting to restructure. Um, we're wanting to make decisions, but we're wanting to be very smart. Now, I feel you've actually, you have learned from your past. Um, so you do have the wisdom to disconcern for yourself what you feel is correct. And I think that's the key. It's really about stepping back from external energies, be it it's a boss, be it it's a love interest, and really going inside and checking what you feel in your compass is correct. And I feel, you know, through this in the past position, some of you may be feeling maybe you're not prepared. Um, some of you could be super proud of yourself of how far you've come and how much you've actually gained um, emotionally, psychologically, and you've really added maybe to your resume of life. I do feel again at the heart of it, you need to listen to your heart. And I think it's it's really important to do that at the minute. And most manifestation actually comes from the heart. I do feel some of you, um, it's a hard one because at the moment we could be trying to appease everyone. And I feel your guides are protecting you, but the key to the problem is inside your heart. And that's why when we do directly go outside ourselves and we're being cautious, we're looking at the very Virgoni, Virgoian polarities of things, the thought, the action we would need to take towards something and maybe taking that critical eye on it. If we go inside the heart, we do have the answers. And I feel that's where you're really receiving them. I'm going to pull another card of what is crossing this situation. <sighs> I feel some of you almost wanting, like at the foundation, you want to know that it's going to be safe. You want to know, it's almost like fortune, okay? The foundation is like destiny. You, you're really stepping into your destiny. Um, and I always guide people to, you know, if you're fearing a situation, yes, do the logical work. Yes, do the grounded work and base it on a, um, okay, what steps would you, would you directly need to take? Some of you, I do feel um, you're kind of looking future tense. And, and those, are the, those are the areas in your life. It's like, okay, how's your home? How is your life? Where is your money at? What do you want in your love life? This, this is... Yeah, you're mastering that, but you're also, it's funny, it's almost like I'm feeling, 
crossing the energy is self mastery. Now, what I'm getting from this is that sometimes it's almost like due to the past of what we went through. We can particularly feel that maybe, how can I put it? Maybe it won't have a good outcome. So it's almost like when an offer is given to us, we're thinking it's too good to be true. And I will pull a clarifier on the crown, crowning energy after. So it's almost like you're thinking you, you've got that mastery. You're not getting too excited. You want to see the devil in the detail. Um, but, but you're really reaching for the stars. And I do feel again, the clouds, the infinite potential of everything you're wanting is massive. And so to a degree, you could be fearing that maybe it's impossible. Now, I do, again, I am seeing this could be something to do with family. This could be to do with, um, you know, children, a brand new beginning, a new position, um, a brand new, again, getting, getting the energy new again in all areas of life with love. Um, and cast, you know, I don't know why I'm hearing this, casting a different eye on the whole circumstance. Now, there is a lot of passion here, and I do feel this can be quite a passionate point in the month, but I'm also feeling your energy. You're going to require a lot of energy, and that's another thing for this new beginning um, that you're going to require. So some of you can be recouping, but the other thing is I'm sensing there's something to do with signing of documents. And, you know, you're wanting to get something cemented. And this is where I think you're using your smarts. You're like, okay, not only maybe is it on a romantic level, you're needing to really communicate and talk and get the devil in the detail down. And there can be some things that you're really mapping out. And the other thing could be is that with this on your mind, you know, Cancerians are really good at their intuition. So I want you to really trust this because your intuition is is generally pretty good get away from the zeal the excitement anchor the energy in right and look at what your destiny can be i can from your chart say hmm yeah, your health will improve moving forward, but you've got to look at where, you know, really nurturing yourself, looking after yourself. Um, some of you could be maybe casting a critical eye on the past of, you know, how you were, what you did, but knowing that you've moved into that self-mastery, knowing that maybe you saw the signs and synchronicities. Um, maybe you did go in where angels feared to tread. Uh, but, you know, this is what I'm seeing here. This It's more you're being rational. Okay, we're going to pull one at the heart and then we're going to read from the book and then we'll get into the extension. I do, I, I kind of get, I feel like you want to dive in the deep end and this can also be with love because we've got the spontaneity here and Mars and Scorpio, you know, it's really deep. You want a very deep connection. Um, I was laughing when we were, I was talking to a couple of Cancerians the other day and I said, you know, there's always that, how do we get into a person's heart? And it's really, it's in order to lower the garden, get into that person's heart. It's really about um, being able to relax. And I think being able to be on that person's wavelength. Alchemy. What are you brewing up, Cancer? Okay, you you want it all. You want the love life. You want, you want the money. You got spells here. You're concocting something up. You're, you're mixing it around. You're deciding what to do. You're trying to use your smarts. I don't have a bad feeling about this. I feel this is very exciting. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, this is also... This is also to do with... Um, you know, not listening to your intuition. I feel in the past, what was crossing you is, you know, not, that's why I said you have to go into the heart. It's almost this egoic belief. It's a head and heart decision. And I feel most of you are like, okay, am I being silly? Am I misreading this situation? Am I seeing it correctly? So I feel it's almost like you might be seeking outside yourself again. It's like, do I need a reading? Do I need to go and consult a professional? Which that, that's a possibility. Where on earth is the... It's under S, Yildiz. Hello, McFly. P, Q, R. Hey, 
having fun. <laughs> Spells, okay. Alchemy, and I'm noticing the red, which is very um, Mars in orientation. Something you hold dear, a relationship, a job, an interest, an object, or even yourself will transform mysteriously into something even more precious to you. The spell card indicates that you are starting to discover the possibilities the art of transformation offers you. Possibilities you hadn't even realized were out there. As you learn more, you will find you need change and a kind of evolution takes place. With you, your desires only with the best for yourself. And I did say that. It's important to decide for yourself. It's not about other people. It's about you. What do you love? What do you like? Um, what do you want? You've got a lot of dreams there. You've got the, the clouds. You know, it's a mystery what it is. But there's you're noticing there's infinite potential. Right now you stand um, and... Your, your standards and expectations become so pure and whatever you touch turns to metaphorical gold. You will be supported in gaining a new sense of self-worth which will draw all that you deserve directly to you. Humble, bumble, stirring well, transforming all by my spell. Changing, growing, hour by hour, behold the alchemist's power. I can't wait to get into the extension. If you do want to join us, come through. Otherwise, I will see you through the week for the Twin Flame updates. We cover Divine Masculine, Feminine, and the Karmic. And we're lives on Fridays, as well as we have three sessions for $11 in the Members Hub. And stay tuned for your new update. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Members Hub. You want the info? It's at the end of the video. Take care. The link for the Members Hub is directly below. We also do have additional videos coming. Galaxy Pub is launching early 2022. Anything spiritual, the subject's covered on that channel. Very separately, we have the Age of Aquarius. Now, you can go onto the website. The VIP list is there. And when it's ready to launch, I will give you those updates. Bookings online and webinars as well. Live every Friday at 10 a.m. on the main platform. And three sessions a month at $11 in the Twin Flame Hub. Hub. Do keep an eye on the community tab because I am automating posts and giving you updates for the moon energies by zodiac sign. Love and light, I will see you throughout the week both live and for your zodiacs. Take very good care and I'll see you on the other side.